Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pequeño Pod with Senor Pequeños. If you want episodes early, bonus episodes, special guest interviews, and other perks, please consider supporting us on Patreon, which will give you all of those things for the price of one coffee cup per month. You can find us at patreon.com slash pequeñopod, P-E-Q-U-E-N-O pod. Otherwise, enjoy this free episode, and I hope you have an awful day. Whoa, turn into an ASMR channel real quick. I mean, if she just holds the mic up to her like her gut it's like, rrr, rrr, whale noise if you press it hard enough do you fart i wish that i could like fart to release the pressure but that's yeah. just not how it works would you shut <laughs> up no like every gastro i've ever seen is like does that tummy feel inflated yeah yeah and they're like they're like does it does it feel better when you when you pass gas and i'm like no I bet you fart real good. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. This isn't a doctor's office. This, this is my uncle's yeah, room. It's your dick out. I I missed one of our patrons, Finn's birthday, like uh, weeks ago. So my bad. Happy birthday to Finn. Do we have one more? We have one new Apple Podcast preview with the title "So Funny I Set My Stovetop on Fire on Two Sixteen My Cat's Meow." I was cooking ramen noodles on the stovetop while listening to one of the episodes. I laughed as I poured the noodles into the pan, and a noodle fell under the stovetop. It caught fire almost immediately, and somehow I managed to keep my cool and put it out. I quickly turned the stove off and blew it out like a candle. Anyway, in short, this podcast made me laugh so hard I started a fire. I hope you like my story, and I hope you have a good day. That's nice. I've never made, like, top ramen on this stove. Eat Got, the chunk like... hole and <laughs> drink, <Yeah. the... laughs> oh. drink the water, snort the liquid. <laughs> I, I normally just, like, microwaved it. I remember one time in college we fried our own chicken once, I guess, just to, like, try it, even though air fryers exist. And we actually, like, got the, like, the oil or whatever you, like, you actually fry it in, you know? Uh, the little, like, bomb canister that you put the oil in and all that shit. We fried it. It was actually pretty good. Other than like this, <laughs> there was so much smoke, and not like, and not like, not like haze smoke. It was like black billowing smoke. So you and didn't just, fry chicken, you burned it. Just, you burning it. <laughs> no, but weirdly enough, the fried chicken did get burned. So I don't know what was burning Once the you tar. Once off the black stuff, <laughs> <laughs> there was chicken in there. <laughs> Once you excavated it. Dude, my dog has like anxiety. But, <laughs> For some reason, when he hears the smoke alarm go off, he gets like PTSD, like war flashbacks. Like I don't know why. I feel really bad because he just like runs and hides. Like he'll go and hide like in the furthest corner away from the smoke detector, like in the shower. In he the jumps corner. in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's never actually on <laughs> fire. It's just like my dad is cooking bacon or something. Your dad just sets the package on fire. <laughs> the pre- He's just looking at the dog with a lighter. I want the, the bacon pain. now. <laughs> now. It should be yeah. done in the next three seconds or else. <laughs> <laughs> just ash. Uh, yeah, and... <laughs> Which is weird that, I mean, your how, how, your house seems old. <laughs> is the smoke detector. <laughs> we replaced it, like... 93. Five years ago. <laughs> That's actually oh. the year my parents moved in. <laughs> anyway. Whoa, uh, no, but, like, the reason I asked that was because so when, I, when I moved into um, my apartment in Indiana for my first job, it was a brand new, like, apartment building. I was the first one that's ever lived there. And the newer smoke detectors, like, are super sensitive. And any time I would cook fish, it would go off. Like, nothing's burning. It's stinky. literally just the oven. Stinky being... alarm. <laughs> no, I looked it up. And, like, whenever Aye. there's enough heat, whenever there's enough heat on the ceiling, would you shut up? Only for fish? I, th- no, I mean, I, I didn't really, I couldn't make any other meat. So I was just making fish. Alarm, dude. Well, you talked about that one time where it was the first day you moved into your apartment. And then you, like, microwaved metal and... It caught on fire. <laughs> That's not a story. Fuck off. Why was making lightning? <laughs> yeah. Why are the alphabets um exploding? <laughs> no, I, that wasn't. Daniel's it, like, like day one. I got my boxes no, in no, here, no, no, and then no, he's no, like, no, oh no. my god, guys! <laughs> oh, and then, like the next Snapchat was just him like screaming, and he's like, You're I'm lying. an adult. I'm an adult, guys. What are you talking about? You put like a like a piece of 
like American uh, cheese on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Ta- I've never bought American cheese. You fucking liar. You put what like is this podcast? you put like a slice of American cheese on a piece of bread and then you put it in the oven, <laughs> and, like in the microwave. What are and, you talking about? And then like for well, just because you don't come in the chat, you don't talk to us anymore, doesn't mean you can just make shit up. <laughs> no, no, no. And then you left the bread tie, like. Oh, I did do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that that wasn't because I had like grilled American cheese in the fucking microwave. It was just okay, like well, I forget what it was. Bread in the microwave. I think my I toaster. Know. I think my toaster broke, so I was toasting my bread in the microwave. You can't toast it, dude. <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, you can. You sound like I'm the crazy one in this scenario. Daniel, like, you're just making a hot bread. No, but listen, so if you put it on a paper towel, it basically sucks the moisture out of the bread, so it's just like... You're insane. You're actually So it's unwise. just like dry, it's <laughs> not toast. You just take out all of the fluffy bit. You're dehydrating your bread. Your bread doesn't have a moisture as it is. Like, you're just... <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, crackers. Oh, uh, you know, right? They I was like, sell them no, at the store. No, no, it's not a cracker. It's like a packing peanut. Like, it's flexible, but very dry. Are you comparing your food to packing peanuts? Be honest with me. Yes, yes. you are. I didn't have a toaster at the time. What was I supposed to do? It's like shredded do? wheat. Get it's a like... lighter. And just... <laughs> yeah, true. Mm, carcinogens. I'm going to stink up this place so bad. I hate you so much. That's not even what happened the first day in that apartment. I took a shower at 1.30 in the morning, and they started banging on my door at 3 because they didn't hook any of the fucking pipes up. So it just leaked all the water I showered with into the apartment beneath me. <laughs> oh, Imagine they're trying they're to like, sleep. And they're like, like, this asshole. Face. <laughs> just like, it's like, like the ice bucket challenge. Like, just <laughs> so much water. Their lips are like. <laughs> I woke up just being waterboarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I got a new neighbor. <laughs> he's like he's dreaming. He's like, why am I pissing so much? I'm drowning. <laughs> Wakes up. So there wasn't anyone in the apartment beneath me, thankfully, because that apartment flooded. <laughs> so it leaked into the first floor apartment, which is why they called someone to come bang on my fucking door at three in the morning. It leaked through multiple uh, floors. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I only showered for like six minutes, yeah, too. Yeah, I was like, I that, guy was, hell. <laughs> that guy was getting squeaky clean. I got out at 7 a.m. <laughs> I wasn't showering through like the shower thing. It was just like literally I opened a pipe in the ceiling and I was just <laughs> dumping water. <laughs> dumping water nonstop. <laughs> I was like, I'm man. I'm making this place a pool. I hope, I, I hope everything's hooked up down there. <laughs> this is my apartment. I'll do what I want with it. The bread tie thing was like a year ago. What oh, I thought you, you said doing? six. I thought you said six years ago. I was like, but how did I get that Snapchat then? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. no. The yeah? bread t- that's why I was confused. She was like, no, you said you said a Snapchat. You were like naked. You were like <laughs> zapping like metal sporks in the microwave. <laughs> no, that's the thing. That's you were putting thing, your you... dick in the microwave. You said it's <laughs> a snap. You did. I heard you. I saw you do it. No, you, said, you, mm, were like, you were like, you were cheese on bread. Yeah. <laughs> You were like You you're said like, Gabagoo day... roast them. <laughs> you're like day one in my apartment, time for my struggle meal. And you sent like a picture of like a struggle meal. And then the next Snapchat was you like ah! and like fire <laughs> in the microwave. It wasn't then, a fire. It was no, just sappy. The microwave just, glowing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see anything in the microwave. It's just like this light semblance from the just microwave. The beam shooting out the window. Yeah. You can see my reflection in it. Just like, <laughs> I God. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. And then you were like, you were so pissed. You were like, you're like, how did that even happen? It was just bread. And then you like lifted up the piece of bread and there was just the metal like like thing oh okay i remember so basically like i like i don't know how it happened but like because all i thought i put in the microwave was bread and i was so shocked because i put bread in the microwave and things are zapping and sparking and i was like i know what's going I know. on that's, that's why I, when i received the next snapchat Father, forgive I was me for i have sinned yeah, yeah i was like <laughs> no but like i it it was it was stuck to the bottom of the plate, I think, from the counter. So it was just like zapping underneath the plate. But I was staring at an empty plate, like, what the fuck was that? I was so confused. Oh. How we have talking. you been surviving with like the egg 
the egg expenses. Have you been? Oh, we covered this last time. No, I know. Have have you just been? (laughs) Yeah, I was like, have you been not buying eggs still? It's not getting any better. (laughs) This is only a problem. It must be in Seattle for you. I don't know, or this is large cities because we've had plenty of eggs. Oh yeah, there's eggs, but they go up in price. Yeah. Well, I don't look at them. I'm, I need eggs. I can't eat that many. <laughs> okay, so you are still buying them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's like, my bill was a hundred and four dollars. All I bought is fourteen <laughs> eggs of fourteen bags of beans and three oh, eggs. Oh, my bill is a hundred and ten dollars every week. Yeah, for sure. So it could very well be eggs were twenty. It's $20. six thousand dollars. You <laughs> and you're like <laughs> <laughs> three months on my rent. <laughs> oh. <Uh-oh. laughs> Every egg is thousand. I'm just eating a raw egg, just <laughs> living outside. <laughs> well, egg or house? Those, like, <laughs> what are those like gem, crystally egg things that like the the queen owned? The egg jewels? No, I don't know what you're the talking egg, about. Oh my god! The queen I had egg them. jewels. She yeah, she'd lay them. Let's she, see, lay the egg. <laughs> that's where British people come from, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the queen had her laying eggs. <laughs> God rest her soul. <laughs> oh, f- Fabergé eggs. Ever since she passed, there hasn't been any more British people. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. They're all, like, getting older. There's no British babies anymore. It's crazy. They're all dying no, they're out. They're all born old men. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Their pacifiers are just, like, steel wool. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the sucky sucky, yeah? <laughs> 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 I don't know, it just, I don't know. I'm just remember the video where she was like talking to one of her guards and she was like how long have you been out here and he was like oh 40 years and she's like holy shit <laughs> she's like you're old as fuck and have then I not- made it and everyone was making videos stitching her being like I would beat the fuck out of her <laughs> We were talking about podcast stats. I just had one more that I thought was cool. I wanted oh, to get out. And then we yeah, can move we'll on. We'll talk about eggs and British people <laughs> again. Sorry. Yeah, I yeah, don't want to interrupt this yeah, great yeah, bit yeah. that we have going. For um, every British death, the queen so, lived a year longer. <laughs> okay, continue. So I don't I don't know if Death I by her was... guards. Oh, okay. Specifically? Uh, she would suck I don't their know. souls out like... Bruh! Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy all right dude, well my mom thinks i have autism <laughs> <laughs> i think you have autism no, just kidding <laughs> Shmoo. Shmoo. oh i had my AD- i had my adhd screening um oh, they've yeah. determined i'm just really anxious <laughs> <laughs> oh. so i said it's borderline but they said she was like also she's like you could also just be so fucking anxious you forget things and talk impulsively like a dick and i was like ah oh. That could be it. I don't know. That's the one. That's the okay. one. And then she blew air what directly is- into my nostrils, and then I walked out the door. Oh. <laughs> that that sounds like a fetish. Yeah, I was like, oh. yeah. Yeah. I don't you know, think so. You haven't seen like the tongue licking in the nose or the eyeballs, huh? Don't look at me like I'm the one doing this. I think you are the one doing this. Oh, no. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm sadly familiar with this, too. Yeah. How are people familiar with this? It Touch went point viral, I think. I, yeah, it went viral a while ago. I was in high school when that was, like, a thing. Yeah. Oh, great. Like, people I mean, so we were all in high school then. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Yep. Ew. Really? Ew. Gross. That's yeah. disgusting. It just not yeah, registered. People say like, it, it felt like saying. really good or something, and that's why they were no. doing it. Yeah. Well, I would certainly hope so if they were like, it feels fucking terrible, but <laughs> <laughs> do it again. What if that's what the guy needed to like get off? And he just never got that again after the trend ended. <laughs> I, no. It's like hiring no. escorts, and he's like, please just lick my eye. And they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the scenario where people are like into like mutilation and they're like cut off my penis and i'm like that that's gonna be the best orgasm of your life because then you're gonna have none none <laughs> <laughs> this is this happening where is this conversation all happening? over oh it's all over uh-huh. <laughs> you what are you talking like about daniel's like my it. innocence <laughs> people Everyone are into... wants their dick cut off it's not just <laughs> me <laughs> i'm not alone <laughs> There was a podcast stat uh, we were trying to talk about. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, go uh, ahead, we'll get back to the vomiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the first seven days of the release of each episode, 
and the last three, it's been like the first seven days of the episode was 251, then it was 253, then it was 256. You want to know what our most recent episode's first seven day was? What's up? 308 downloads. We crossed that <gasps> last one by fucking over 50. Ooh. Ooh. Crazy. Whoa. So that's... I don't know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to get canceled. <laughs> I was going to say, there's some small country somewhere that's like raising a rally to come over and kill us all. It's the UK. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, the queen's not there anymore. Who's going to stop them? I don't know. Back to the vomiting, I guess. Yeah, or continue. You... <laughs> I mean... No, do you think we're going to have World War Three? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind did of you, transition did you, was that? What? Did you, ah. did you see the thing I sent you where it was like my, my feed? It was like, Kim Kardashian shines in her new blonde... Uh... <laughs> platinum blonde hair and then it was right under it was like russia retracts its nuclear treaty with the united states of america <laughs> and <I'm> what like, <laughs> holy just shit right next to each other. and it was the top story they're like oh, that's not good they're like cold war 2.0 but Kim K do Kim Kardashian stunning Ooh. blonde looks. Yeah. Man, speaking of the Cold War, look at those uh, dresses. Uh, <laughs> oh, really cold dresses. <laughs> this is why I'm not an announcer. Boy, boy, it must be chilly in there. Oh, boy, look at those nipples. I bet they could cut some. I, I don't know. I gotta be fired. Diamonds. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds, just shouting random words. Glass, N- nipples, uh, <laughs> various metals, <laughs> fish. <laughs> Speaking of fish, it's Lent. Oh. Happy Ash Wednesday Happy to the Ash Catholics. Wednesday. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't go because I don't have my little uh, doodah on. Does Nick have the one? It's faded already, but I did get one. Faded. Yes. I thought Dude, I the lady it. was emotional when I was getting it, too. Oh. I don't know what the saying is. Isn't it like, God be with you? Or I don't know what they say. But this lady had like two whole sentences. <laughs> she was like... Oh. She, wasn't oh, old, by the way. she wasn't old, by the way. But she like she got choked up in her sentences. And I was like, it's not that deep, dude. <laughs> it's not that deep. <gasps> did you, did you yeah. tell her that? You should have said that. <laughs> All right, it's lady. not that deep, dude. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> they're, like, they're like body of Christ. Peace be with you, and then we all always know. You just grab her hand. You just grab. You just grab her hand. She's like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one time the priest um, like hit my brother in the head with like the the the, the, the container of uh of like the wafers the. <laughs> <laughs> of the sacrament like okay. he he like my brother he did, he did the wrong he did the wrong hand hey over. want to see something cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah the crackers go flying everywhere <laughs> it's that fucking meme Put after you, you get clomped <laughs> you know it, in the sound of music that was like the very first line of the musical and I ha- I would have to come what? in Ding dong, singing what? it. What was the first one? Dixit, Dobby, 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 Dobby. And it's just me on the stage by myself doing that for like a minute. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Why was it just you? I don't remember the sound of music starting with one person. It doesn't. It do- there were just like, you're the you're the, hey, the head nun. We don't like you. Hey, go you. up there and do the solo. Yeah, go up by yourself. Yeah, and then like one of my lines is like. There are seven stormtroopers, and like every storm, time I was wait, on the storm stormtroopers. Huh? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what? wait, wait, yeah. is that how? It's been too long since I've seen Sound of Music. <laughs> yeah. do, 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 do. That's what they say. That's where the origin really? of the stormtroopers' name Sound came of from. Music? No, I didn't know no, that. from Nazis. Huh. From Nazis. <laughs> Can you imagine Sound of Music starting with like that text? That. <laughs> the Nazis yeah, have taken you. over Europe. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Misa. <laughs> what? Oh, Not no. Misa. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Misa so fucked. Oh. <laughs> 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 Misa after war, Misa. Oh no. 
else. Okay, well, I, you know, let's stop that before any other jokes come from that. <laughs> That's, uh, I say stormtroopers, and every time I would say it, I would hear the crowd, like, have a slight murmur, like, like, did you mean to say that? Like, <laughs> I thought this was Sound oh of Music, not Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like, oh, that one chick who really likes Star Wars, did she really just ad lib that? Like, that's really cringe, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone's just like, boo. <laughs> I'm, yeah, what about it's about literally... this? <laughs> Storm shoes in your eyes. <laughs> it's literally the scene where I'm leading the children through the mountains. Like, I'm like, quickly! Ugh! <laughs> There's, like, the wedding scene, and they open her briefcase, and she has lingerie in it. And because I'm a nun and I see the lingerie, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. and like nobody ever laughed at it because you couldn't tell what it was from the audience because it was too far away. It just looked like white cloth. And I'm like, oh. that's why I ad libbed putting it on and then saying, oh, it's lingerie. Yeah. <laughs> no one I'm liked like, that. <laughs> I went a wooga over my like robe. Sexy, waxy, am I right? <laughs> Who who hired that? <laughs> Alone on stage, you're going. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> this place sucks. I want to. <laughs> Man, this play is terrible. Stormtroopers lingerie. What the fuck is? It's only been this girl for thirty minutes. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, my grandma thought I was actually joining a convent too. Like she was really proud of me. Because she's like Roman Catholic straight out of Italy. And she's like, oh my God, I always wanted one of my like children to be part of the church or uh, like a like a." Priest. Did you not tell her she was seeing a play? How did that happen? Um, well, you know, like I, I told her and I feel like she just forgot. Uh, and then when I walked <laughs> out in my costume, she was like tearing up like tears of joy. And I was like, yeah, you just got to roll with it at that point. Why are there 600 people here? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we're <Anyway>. in church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably how she felt, huh? She thought it was just church. You know, my grandma, <laughs> right before COVID, they- Is this bread, um, grandma? Yes. <laughs> so, so this is along I'm, the lines of I'm actually of bread. asking. Sorry. This is along the lines of bread. So when they, you, you know, Jesus turns his, his body into the, into the bread. Take this I, and eat it. I missed that chapter. You missed that chapter, huh? <laughs> like the main plot point of Jesus. <laughs> the last, the last supper. He's gonna turn his blood into what? Yeah. What's he gonna do next? <laughs> What's he gonna make oh a drink? my god, we're getting crushed <laughs> off this guy's veins. That's crazy. He's like doing it like a keg stand off Jesus's vein. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just the way she worded it was, anyway, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, so, so there were, like, these homeless people who would sneak into the church and just take, like, the holy sacrament, you know, and, like, would just eat it before they would do communion. And, um, Solid. they... Yeah, they grabbed it and they left a bunch of like the the wafer crackers on the floor in the background, and that was where my grandma was sitting because like she didn't want to walk far. She was a, a little old lady, and so there were just like crackers surrounding her. And the priest yelled at her and was like, "Never come back here, you crazy old woman!" And like I was like, "You really think that this ninety-three year old snuck past all of you and stole the crackers?" You really and then think just dump that? Them. <laughs> yeah, and then just nom, 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 and like, I'm not gonna eat these. <laughs> yeah, she's just sewing them out. I'm not giving them to the homeless either. Yeah, I'm just throwing them on the I ground. Think about Jesus, and just chucking <laughs> his body. Not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> she's like crunching them during the sermon. <laughs> Dude, I remember oh one time goodness. I was going up for communion. I was, I think, like, 12 or 11, but we went to, like, this church in Chicago. And, like, I I'm used to, like, the whole hand thing where you go yeah. up with your hands and they put it in your hands. But everyone in front of me was just opening their mouth, tongue hanging out, and the priest would put it in their mouth. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, some churches hey. do I've, I've been to the Christian churches where they've done that. Like, Ooh, I, that was yeah. new for me. I wasn't, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't used or, to that. Or, like, they... I went to this one where they just had one big loaf of bread and they were ripping. <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> and chew it up and baby burn it into your mouth. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> yeah, no, they um they had a loaf of bread Ow. and then the um the priest would grab a little uh, chunk of it, dip it in the grape juice, and then place oh. it in your mouth. And I was mm. like, huh? little wombo combo. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, like, I could taste that Bible finger sweat. <laughs> Yum. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ah. That's like a very common thing Italian people do, though, is they dunk their bread in wine. So, like, I was like, is Italians, am I right? Yeah, Italians, you know. <laughs> gotta get those carbs in, gotta get that wine in somehow. Mm. It's 9 a.m. No, yeah, but I the remember breakfast I, of champions. <laughs> I remember going to that church and like finally like because everyone had their mouth open. I was like, I guess I got to do the mouth thing too. So I go up to the guy and I open my mouth and he puts it like on my lip and it didn't even go in. It it's fell, just stuck. It, it fell. It just went. It fell on the floor and everyone like paused and they all like looked. Everyone's like, like <gasps> go get it, go get it. No, so so I was like. I, I panicked. I was like, oh, do I got to eat off the floor? Like, what, what do I do? Yeah, yeah. they're like, he's desecrating the body so, of Christ. So the guy picks it up and he goes, Oof. and then he eats it like nothing. And then he gets another oh, one. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? I was like, whoa. He eats it? Yeah, he and that out. time I, literally, I put my hands like up close and I was like, please. Give me. What? <laughs> <laughs> He goes, be- like, be- he goes between not- your outstretched hands and inserts it <laughs> directly into your mouth. <laughs> Down your throat. Dude, I remember being in fifth grade and I went to this little Catholic school. And there was a girl who, like, every time it was her turn to go up and get the wine, like, she wouldn't stop drinking. They didn't give you grape juice, like, they gave you wine. But yeah, she could hold it and wine. she would just be like, <laughs> it's still going. And then, the, like, someone would have to tap her and be like, all right, stop. <laughs> Like every time no, it's like, it spilling down your entire front. Please, please stop. <laughs> stop that. Okay. <laughs> You're embarrassing us. Oh my god. The amount of backwash in it. I was like, mm. You know, I just remember her being yeah. like, I just I just love the taste of that grape juice. And I was <laughs> like, that's wine. <laughs> like even I knew I was like, wait, no, that's that's like definitely wine. <laughs> it always makes you know, at least sexy time. Yeah, like, whoa, whoa. Huh? The you were fifth, fifth grader? graders, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you said it was a woman while you were in fifth grade. Sorry. No, we were in fifth grade. Woof. All right. Daniel's like, mm, you. yeah, minor. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Even Catholic priests are like, that's a little gross. <laughs> Don't Too old for my taste. <laughs> Pass their prime. <laughs> oh. No dicks, no business. Anyway. Huh? Dude, I, I, why do I have so many communion stories? I remember when I was in eighth grade. <laughs> we were um, No, we we were getting like a, a tour of the church or so. I don't I don't remember what it was, but I remember um the <laughs> our our priest he like opened the little container where all the little wafers are, and like he was just talking about like communion. And for whatever reason, one of my friends was like just doing that gesture, <laughs> and he got so mad and he slams and he goes, "All right, we're going back." And he like he put the stuff away, and no. he stormed us all the way back to the classroom. We just had to sit there, and he's like, uh, "They don't get recess today." And I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, what?" He got so. Don't offended. you joke about that? Yeah, don't no, you he, joke yeah, about no. That. Literally, he was so mad. He slammed the container. He's like, "All right, we're going back." <laughs> I was like, "What happened?" Literally, he freaked out. That's the same priest that got in trouble for walking around naked in the school. <laughs> 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 Which I'm pretty sure I told you guys. Oh, 100 percent I okay. remember hearing that one. Oh yeah. My God. That was <laughs> <laughs> Fucking damn it. Yeah, that that was like why um the the priest was yelling at my grandma that one time was because Because he was naked? Like, no, 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 the the mass Don't look before, the mass <laughs> What are you doing looking at my fat balls? <laughs> the mass before it was like she was um talking to somebody in the background and she couldn't hear him. Cause she's Dunking like, you his know, balls in the communion wine. No, no, yeah. She's she's hard of hearing. So like for some reason he just assumed if like this old bitch was talking while he was giving his sermon, then she was also the one stealing all the crackers. So I'm listening lively, I promise I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, yeah, it was on. It was on Christmas, the midnight uh, mass. <laughs> the midnight mass. When, yeah, when my brother got like great bonked, show, bonked with the basket, cause, cause like the priest was like, "Are you even Catholic?" In front of my whole Italian family, <laughs> and like, oh my god, they were all so like ashamed of him. Like they didn't even want to like make eye contact with John when he was coming back up the pews. 
I was like, why? What do you do? I'm confused. Look like he, well, he put his hand out, but like he put this one on top of it instead. Are you not supposed to do that? Yeah, you're supposed to put this one on top and then take it like this. And oh, this is so he, complicated, dude. Yeah, it's for, that's why we got to train for it, man. <laughs> for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then uh i could be a cop in two weeks <laughs> wow <laughs> that seems so <laughs> sorry you're supposed to just walk up like this and just receive a blessing but uh he went to take yeah oh, this <laughs> is yeah walk up like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> burr, 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 father like burr. i haven't been there in a while bless me for i've just been bad <laughs> Why is he dunking his balls in the, <laughs> in the wine? I don't want to drink that. <laughs> Dude, that would be gay. But let me hit some. Get a sip. Yeah. Get a sip so off the pubes. It's fine. They have the big, like, golden chalice, and they have everybody sip from the same spot, and all they do is yeah. use, like, just a little rag yeah, they, they to wipe, wipe it. it. And I'm just like, oh, that's this, not... This just doesn't make any mm-mm, sense to me. Mm-mm. And the chalice is so, like, huge and deep that, like, everybody, like, <laughs> the wine goes in their mouth and backwash comes out. It just yeah, happens 100%. to everyone. 100%. And I'm like, oh. That's why I like oh. being in the front versus, like, the back. Yeah. The back Couldn't yeah. be me. Everyone. Nick yeah. is first in church. You're like, wow, you were just, you are really here for God today. You're like, yeah, yeah, give me, give me. I don't <laughs> want to taste the men's sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know their whole upper lip is in that thing, too. Like, yeah. <laughs> he gets the chalice, and he's like... <laughs> there uh. <you> go. <laughs> My hand in it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> you just, like... <laughs> You just hold the chalice up to the priest's face. You're like, blow it, blow it, blow it off the top, blow it into blow my the mouth. aroma into my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ha! Mass, mass was always so boring to me as a kid too, because uh, a lot of them would be in I English why. and Spanish. So like, oh dude, yes, yeah, it would Terrible. be the the oh, it would take just two hours of you sitting there and like What's... when you're a little kid, you don't care. You're like, I know, I know. I remember like uh, for. I think it was our graduation. We were graduating eighth grade and it was like a big deal. And the guy gave like a whole hour long speech in English. And then there's like a pause and we're all like, okay, it's done. All right. And then he starts Uh, going in Spanish. (laughs) Hola, mis amigos. And I'm like, oh, God. (laughs) Was he he like, I was going to say, was he white? Like, yeah, it was a white guy. But like, he spoke Spanish. But still, it's like, a whole nother hour. (laughs) I was like, that's terrible. You're like, ah, oh, they're speaking the beaner thing. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the tool came brown. No, I okay. remember, like, just, if they ask some, like, actual, like, Spanish mom to come up and give that part, sure, go for it, because I could listen to that for an hour. That would be great. <laughs> You're like a Spanish mommy. <laughs> 100%. Have you seen that TikTok? <laughs> She's, like, yelling yeah. at us. <laughs> We're like... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, whatever. We're graduating. Okay, sure. <laughs> Where am I? I don't know. You're like, yeah, can I drink your milk? I mean the wine. <laughs> can I drink it from the source? I mean the chalice. I mean uh, boob, booba. <laughs> booba, booba. Have you seen that TikTok that went around where it was she was making some kind of food and she was like, if you don't know what this is, you need to get yourself a Latina mommy. And everyone was like, I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what that is. Tell me, tell me, what that is. Tell me right now. <laughs> it's so funny. Wait, I have a question. Did you guys ever get, it was like a golden cross and there's like a little like canister in the center and it was like a flake of a skin tag or something from like a saint. Huh? Yeah, that was definitely the skin off that dude's foot. What the hell are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, no, Never no. Did this. you guys ever get this? One was no. like, we got two of them. There was one. I mean, I wasn't Catholic, but. Well, one of them was like Mother Teresa, and the other thing was something else. I don't remember who the Mother other one Ter- was. Mother Teresa, you got the skin of you got Mother skin Teresa? flakes of Mother Teresa. It was like a little dandruff flake, and they, Ew. they collected no, it. Who was collecting the dandruff from her before no, they put no, her in the no, ground? It's not a dandruff. <laughs> this is a joke, dude. Ew, they did the dandruff? No, <laughs> it's a joke. I'm saying <laughs> that's what a skin flake is. <laughs> well, I don't know, but they put just shake your head over this bag. And I remember she's like, "All right, everyone, go up and and say their their little prayers to it," and like. The kids were like, what do you do? And then she's like, oh, you got to go up to it and you got to kiss it. You got to kiss the... And we were, and we're all like, no. <laughs> you know? Kiss the skin tag. Kiss the skin kiss tag. The- that is disgusting. Why? So, Who is making this shit up? So 
I, I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Tell me. Don't get mad at me. I don't know who made this. Uh, like... I remember, like, um, we were all, like, because we didn't know what to do. And she's like, I'll show you guys. And so she goes up, and she, like, whispers to it. And then she goes and kisses it. But she kissed it for, like, 20 seconds. Yeah. And she's uh, like, mm. and we're just oh like, my mm. gosh! I mean, like, she, she didn't slip tongue, but I, we were just like, <laughs> and you know, all the guys are immature, and we're like, Mother, just making yeah. out with the skin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's immature. I think that's just literally what's fucking happening in front like, of you. Like, I think this is the most action she's got in years. Yeah, no, no we're kidding. Just, we'd just be laughing the entire time. It was gross. And then she's like, "Go ahead," and like, <laughs> you can see the lip prints on it, and we're like, "Ah." Uh, I, uh, Lord be with you and then we walk away uh, like, <laughs> guess I'm going to hell <laughs> oh my gosh dude I remember that, that is disgusting I don't know. <laughs> there was one year she fell down the stairs and I cracked up really loud oh, I was I like, like, very hard. what <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I got That's in trouble just... <laughs> I would have laughed. That would have been, me. Like, that been no, me. No one liked this teacher. She was so mean for no reason. I think I told you that's about That's just her. like She's a nun. Yeah, you did. You did. That's just like a nun thing as well. Like, Wait, I she know. fell down the stairs in front of you? In front of like a lot of people. I oh. know, she was going down the stairs and she just, she, her foot slipped and that was it. And then like, <laughs> you know, me just being an idiot. I just started laughing at this elderly lady just falling down the stairs. Yeah, I was going to say, her, little, it's her funny. little poverty sandal thing got stuck. <laughs> and like, she just rolled her ankle and was like, bong, 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 bong. I was cracking up, and then one of the teachers was like, that's inappropriate. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. Fantastic. <laughs> speaking, speaking of inappropriate, since I sense a lull, <laughs> so I got high last week. Um <laughs> I should let the ADHD screener in here. She'd be like, no, okay, never mind. You definitely have it. You definitely yeah. have it. <laughs> yeah, so I know. Meant. Immediately after, I was like, oh, I should. I need to change my answers that I put on Daniel's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. You guys just doomed me into a life of non-diagnosis. It's fine. I'm just kidding. Okay. To be um, fair, <laughs> the numbers I gave you were very high on the diagnosable yeah. She <laughs> mentioned it. She, she, she was like, oh, and this part they felt... Strongly about I was the, talk, the impulsively talking part. I was like, <laughs> then I cut her off and said something stupid. <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> like, I just gaslighted her. <laughs> no, they no, didn't say actually, that. They, I made they, that. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, huh? <laughs> you want to know something so? You, you know Venom? I, I do Venom. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? You know that? She's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching like a video from from Vice, like a clip of it, and it was like, oh, we collected a bunch of diverse women to talk about feminism and where they think the feminist movement is going. And all of the trans women just kept talking over all of the cis women and interrupting them. And I was like, <laughs> it's, it's just ingrained, isn't it? Like, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> like they couldn't help it. I was like, oh, they're the only ones interrupting the other women. I was just like, no, not the three trans girls. Oh my god. That's so funny. I love queer people. I have oh, one. Okay. But She's out. That's just yeah, I was like, that's just She cut <laughs> one. <laughs> I is, man. Like the conservative the two conservative white ladies were like, I think feminism is just based on hate. Of men, and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Try again. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> Let him cook. And then all of the what uh, does that mean? With, all of people the have been women... commenting that on my videos for the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> That's been around for a fat minute. <laughs> That's been around for, dude. <laughs> What's that from? Let him cook. It's just a saying. Like someone get. Like, it's a it's, saying. It's like, some... it's, like yeah, when, it's like it's like this guy spitting. Yeah. Uh, let him finish. Like, let him finish. I thought it was okay. So I made a video that referenced Ratatouille, and people I kept commenting, "Let to. him cook." And so I thought that was a line from Ratatouille that I missed. I was like, I don't remember them saying, "Let him cook." <laughs> let but the rat. Let, let the, the rat, rat cook. <laughs> He's spitting yeah. though. 
you missed uh, your your opportunity to go viral during the uh, Ratatouille the musical thing, Daniel. <laughs> what? Oh, no. That was when, a thing? when that was on TikTok. I don't even have TikTok, and I know that that went like that was a big thing. Like all the theater. Dude. I'm surprised you don't remember that because it was like a big theater kid thing, and it was uh, really cringy. The Beetlejuice thing was. Yeah, really yeah. I, oh, Beetlejuice! I did see a bunch of stuff for it. Yeah, but like there were playwrights writing music for it, and there were like neckbeards oh in their thirties. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> what? I'm oh, sorry. Dude was just writing a song about Ratty Tui and you're like, ew. <laughs> no, I was saying ew Gross. to neckbeards. I was saying ew to neckbeards. Th- that was the guy making the music. <laughs> that was yeah, how he looked. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I never want to hear you complain about someone making a cheek comment ever again. <laughs> making a what comment? A cheek comment ever again. <laughs> I know. What are you talking about? Never, never be offended. Never have... You're doing the same thing with neckbeards. I'm not offended by the cheek things. No, neckbeards are different. Neckbeards is just fucking like keeping like hygiene and they shit. They can help dude. it. They can help it. Yeah, you just pick up a fucking razor. Oh yeah, what are we well, talking you just about? Put on foundation. <laughs> we're kidding. We're kidding. By the way, you're busting your balls. I don't have any. So. I thought you had one. That was your running joke. I didn't say it because every time I've said it, you're like, oh, the running one ball gag joke. <laughs> Fucking idiot. It still came up. So I refrained. <laughs> and not from me, it didn't come up. Jeez, this guy stinks. Oh, my God. Oh one, boy. Of, one of my friends, um, like... Their, their dad he had testicular cancer and so everybody always okay, calls him well. one nut man i'm not laughing at him having cancer he's he's in remission now good lord okay no everybody's like what's up one nut man when they see him and i'm like why why he's called why? uniballer <laughs> he's like the nicest guy like he's so quiet and chill also my like friend the, like the unibomber oh Oh, my friend huh? listens to this. Huh? So she'll know. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, how was your weed? You said you got hot. Oh, oh it's like an hour ago. <laughs> I'm high right oh. now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you got high an hour ago. I could not tell. Have we talked about the stand-up show yet? I think last no, time it hadn't actually happened. No, but happened last yet. time, last time you were stony baloney, you had to go to the hospital, and then this time I got a Snapchat <laughs> that you were like, I might have to go to the hospital, and I was like. Oh, God. Oh, I don't remember sending that Snapchat, but yeah, you sent that to us. <laughs> dude. I couldn't stop laughing at some of the things you sent me, like genuinely. I don't know if it was a bit or not. What did I send you? Uh, pictures of your TV screen. I don't know if that was a bit. Pictures or not. of your balls. <laughs> <laughs> your spread like, ass cheeks. He's like, <laughs> he's like big to you. <laughs> what were those pictures called? Where that dude was taking pictures in nature and then dangling his balls like at the top of the camera. <laughs> Do you remember this? <laughs> like, oh, it was called like it was called Nutscapes, I think. Have you seen this? I haven't. You, ha- you haven't seen this? this? Is something Daniel has Am seen I the that only one that Wow. That's fun. No, I don't remember <laughs> how <fun>. I <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> it is. I don't like, remember wh- how I saw this, but basically it was this photographer that would take like really nice pictures of like nature. But, like, the nature would be far away, right? And then he'd dangle his balls, like, right in front of the camera lens. But because it's focusing on something so far away, it would basically, like, blur him out. So it would basically just, just be, be like... Bobs. Yeah, you wouldn't... You, well, you wouldn't tell... It wasn't, like, the whole things, right? It was just the tips of them. So, I mean, you couldn't tell what they were, but, like, you knew what it was because it was called Nutscapes. And it was just, like, every picture oh. was just his balls in front of it. It was I hilarious. I that he, like artfully placed his balls like in nature to make it kind of like blend in like it was like there <laughs> there's like a baby bird's head and he's like placing it like on the little like featherless bird <laughs> you're like i can't tell if that's the head or i don't know where the balls start and the head ends man weed come on get it out i'm not no, letting you go it ties go. into the stand-up show so have we talked about the stand-up show yet the stand-up show was February 11th, and a friend came down the day before, um, and she brought a bunch of weed, um, and we had a lot of choices. Uh, I accidentally... Yeah, I got a phone call from Daniel, and he's like, right now I'm looking at some weed. And then I'm like, oh. And then he's like, did you call the, did you call the hospital yet? And I was like, I, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> and then... What are you talking about? I didn't call you. 
Oh, you were dialing the doctor and we were talking. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And then uh, he's like, I'm looking at a lot of paraphernalia right now. And I was like... <laughs> And I she call, just I makes call, up everything I fucking say, dude. Gaslighting me the whole fucking way. <laughs> so anyway, the night before the show, because the show was Saturday night, it's Friday night. I was like, well, even if I get like royally fucked up, the most I've been in the ER was 13 hours, which would be before the, the show starts at Saturday. So I was like, it should be fine. Um, I got time. I, <clears throat> yeah, I took a <laughs> I took a Meclizine two hours before we got high. And I completely forgot about it. That was a uh, nausea med because at yeah. the time, yeah, I was running low on will to live. And uh, yeah, so that was a bad thing to take when you smoke weed. Don't do that. <laughs> I feel like it, it would help, like, especially if no. you were like paranoid. You know when people say like stuff is mm -hmm. moving like. <laughs> we, we got high and we were watching Puss in Boots too, which if you haven't watched that movie when you're high, I would highly recommend. Aha, uh because -huh, it's. Dude, if there was ever a movie to get high to, I forgot how many things were shooting and sparkling and zooming and shit. I was like, holy fucking hell. <laughs> this is a new movie. Uh, I was literally on the verge of... I was crying in that movie. You were I was... Crying. Oh, dude. I get emotional when I smoke weed. I was like full on speaking to... Like, just because it was just speaking Sydney. Speaking in tongues? Yeah. You know what I'm talking no, so I was sitting Daddy, there. I, scaring me. <laughs> perito, perito. I was literally sitting there crying, like weeping. I was like, because he's because now he doesn't need the wish because he's got everything he wished for right here. I was, I was breaking down. Anyway, before that, um, like when the high had kicked in, uh, holy shit! I paused the movie because I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital because my heart rate started pounding so fucking hard. And so fast, and I, it would freaked me out. It just wouldn't stop, and it, it was like the fastest my heart was ever beating. And I paused the video. I was like, that that needs to calm down right now because uh, that shouldn't be happening. And it did eventually calm down, and then like the regular, like then it was fine after that. But I mean, for a second there, I was like, that's never happened before when I've gotten a high. So that was fun. Didn't have to go to the ER though, so that was good. But I literally on, only because I sat where I was sitting the rest of the night, including it didn't move an inch. I, well, I mean, I slept, but I mean, I propped my head and I like boxed myself in with pillows, and I was like, I'm not moving for the next eight hours. And you had I your didn't. friend wrap you in duct tape, like, <laughs> don't let me get they off of this sofa. My, they duct tape my forehead to the to the back of the couch. No matter like, how mm. much I scream, no matter how much I plead and beg, no matter how much do I do not chain me. <laughs> Yeah, so that wasn't a great way to, you know, anyway. But so that was Friday. Saturday was the show. The show went very well. Um, everybody clapped, yeah, everybody was... screamed, everybody pissed themselves. What was it? They started throwing money at you, making it rain. What was I, it? I mean, I don't need to go into it, but like, I mean, so I mean, we sold out the, the seats. Um, and then we sold a few more like standing, which, what? you know. So I mean, after the show was fun because like just getting to talk to people, but it also just sucked because... Fucked up. That's another reason I don't want to go to this place again because I want the after party to be there. I want to. There was a guy that came from Instagram. The after that party I don't wasn't think, there. No, because they the whoever owns the building. They just kicked you owned, out the second you finished. <laughs> whoever owns the building owns the restaurant and the apartments above it, and so because there's apartments above it, they have like a ten thirty p.m. like noise noise curfew. Noise curfew, which is like holy shit. That is. I mean, and the show started at like 8, 8.30, and we were wrapping up around 9.30. So we basically were just saying quick hellos and goodbyes, and people were leaving, um, which kind of sucked because uh, I wanted to talk to people. Um, and there was like a guy that came from Instagram um, that I don't think I ever saw. Like I tried to go around to the tables of people I didn't meet or that I didn't recognize and try to say like, hi, how's it going? You know, you get your drinks okay? And basically a waiter because they didn't have any other fucking staff. But, like, just trying to make sure that I saw everyone that I didn't recognize to make sure I met You're like, you here for me or are you here for one of the others? <laughs> the other guy. Me, Never right? mind. And then you just leave. <laughs> yeah, just Enjoy leave your beverage. For a response. <laughs> you pick it up, just splash it in their face if they say they're not there for you. <laughs> you can leave. <laughs> I, I saw the legs out from under their chairs. <laughs> <laughs> you saw their legs. <laughs> They're just sitting there eating drinks. When's that last guy coming? Oh, my legs are gone. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I can't hey, leave. I hey, he's, he's down there. 
I'm very depressed. In case it wasn't obvious. Uh, sorry. Oh no, it's uh, no. We're well aware. <laughs> we want to be supportive. If we if we lived there, we would be in the front row. <laughs> oh, I don't mean about we'd be that. Throwing, I just meant in we'd be throwing we'd be throwing bouquets of flowers. Well, if you were here, you'd be in the show. No. <laughs> I can't be I can't be funny on the spot eventually like, this, eventually this not on funny. the spot you'd be plotting a fucking set you only have to eventually do like a we'll set. be big enough where we could do a small little tour we could we could have like a tour bus we could stay in the bus it's like a, it's trip. like a half it's like a half it's like a quarter school bus you know that they send like <laughs> the short, short bus, bus. <laughs> <laughs> that they send their racquetball kids on to some fucking dumbass high school <laughs> an hour away that's us we have we have a drunk bus driver like hey, where the fuck we going we're like kansas it's like holy shit that's that's like a state away the other day like I was walking my dog and there's this Kia Soul that's like a it's a black one. My mom also has that one, right? Um and every time I went by it, I thought it said poop unfortunately. And like I wa- I've walked past it so many times while walking my dog and I was next to it and I was like schmood when my brother was with me and he was like what's wrong with you? What are you talking about? And I was like Sh- Shoot, poop unfortunately that's me on the daily and he's like i, I don't he's know like, what you're talking about that says poor unfortunate that says, that says donald soul, trump uh, yeah <laughs> yeah he's like it literally says poor unfortunate and then the soul logo and i was like oh for real because i could not tell at all i will show it to you because now anytime <laughs> somebody drives by it i point it out and i'm like what does that look like what does that look like right there and then they're like poop and I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> it looks nothing like what she's describing. Yeah. <laughs> it says, we love the war in Ukraine. We're like, lively. I don't know how to tell you this, but that's not what that says. It's just a bunch of horrible, racist, homophobic things on a sign. Just swastika. <laughs> I don't think that's poop, dude. <laughs> it's just one swastika, no words. She's like, that says poop, unfortunately, doesn't it? Food. Like, no. Are you taking your meds? <laughs> Oh my god, uh, the other day I had forgotten to take them, and then my friend went, came over- Do you went goblin mode? <laughs> yeah, like, my friend came over to pick me up, and I then- killed them. <laughs> no, and then I dropped the pills, like, seven times, within, like, going from the door to getting in their car. Yeah, no, I kept dropping them. Like, I tried to take them, and they're like, take some water, and then I, like, whiffed and missed my mouth, and, like, I threw them into, like, the back seat, and I was like- <gasps> <gasps> Whoops! <gasps> <laughs> and I was, just, I was just, yeah, I was just being what? so scared. What? I was like, I was like, uh, 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 and they're like, dude, dude, and I was like, it's Stop okay, barking. I'm, taking, I'm taking the anxiety medicine, so I'm, I'm not gonna be like this anymore after, after a few minutes. And they're like, oh, thank fucking god, because I was gonna just send you back home. And I was like, ah, uh, and then they got a flat tire, and then we were stuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we couldn't see what it was, but like my friend was like, "Did you guys feel that? I think we hit something." And we were like, "Huh?" Like in the front, <laughs> and then they were like, "Hold on, turn the music down. I think I hear something." And then they're like, "Oh, yeah, no, no." And they're like, "Oh, never mind. It must have just been the music." But it was literally the tire deflating, like, ee! like they thought it was like part of. Like, I love didn't that pick stuff. It up. <laughs> yeah, they thought it was part of like the techno thing in the back. No. The tire deflated that quickly that like I my love friend, the song. Yeah, my friend in the back was like was like check check the tire pressure right now, and then it was like it went from. This like, is a great drop. Yeah, it, bass oh, drop, but it's uh, just the tire uh, like. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. and then like yeah, I was like, <laughs> I think I feel one of my butt cheeks higher than the other, and then I was like, I think it was the right rear tire. I think my butt cheek deflated. How can you feel that? Like to that extent? The car was leaning. The car was leaning like this. With one tire going out, it was because because it was completely flattened. Yeah. They're like sideways. I stopped that's off. <laughs> Driving a raised truck and you're. <laughs> We're driving sideways. I don't think this is good. <laughs> yeah, they checked the tire pressure and it went from like twenty six 
to six zero. in thirty. <laughs> yeah, and no, no, to six within thirty seconds. So we're like, we're like, we can make oh, it. No. We can, we can make it to the exit. No, and we'll can't. Just, like, park somewhere. <laughs> but, then, but then, like my my friend in the backseat was like, check again. I feel like it's going down, down. Zero psi. And then, yeah, yeah, and it was like, it was like. It was like six, and then it was like five, four, and they're like, Jarno, get to the shoulder, get to the shoulder, and we're like, no, so then we had to call like AAA, we had to call like all this shit, there was just like the tire repair kit, but I was like, I'm pretty sure the the tire like exploded, so like, uh, I don't think just pumping air into it is gonna do anything, (laughs) yeah, so. You guys have tape? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So, so like, I was like, breathing um, into it. So, so then we like called and, and Costco was like, oh, we can like, we can get you a tow. I'm getting lightheaded. (laughs) All I ate was like a couple handfuls of granola, like a tiny, tiny piece of dark chocolate. Dude. (laughs) And then, um, I was like starving and I was like, y'all, I'm getting hungry. I am going to eat. And then I ate like. The rubber tire that's left. Yeah, I no, I ate. I <laughs> ate. Two, it's just like that sound when you chew. Gnawing on it. Yeah, no, my friends were like, we got a churro from Costco. Like when you rub a when you rub a balloon, just like. <laughs> I don't know what sound a balloon makes. Rum, rum, rum. Hey, I'm a balloon. I'm walking it. <laughs> now, oh if you're God, the Chinese the, balloon. <laughs> the bait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> reference oh, bow, bow, bow. current events bomb that oh. shit out of this current events oh. <laughs> the baby the baby i watch right um <laughs> the baby <laughs> the baby like my cousin gave my brother like a balloon because it's it's my brother's birthday tomorrow it's his golden birthday so Happy he's turning early. 23 Ooh. he's turning 23 on the 23rd no, no. of 2023 yeah, Happy so birthday. I'm yeah. booing him. <laughs> yeah, and Stop. so my cousin, my cousin gave him like a balloon and like a candy All the homies tied hate to it or whatever. And then, and then the baby was like, ah, 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 and like screaming and having a panic attack at the <laughs> balloon. She had never seen a balloon, and she was absolutely horrified. Yeah, like she was like, it's so unnatural. Why is it doing that? Why is it? <laughs> the baby said that. <laughs> Yeah, no, she she was just like that is so <gasps> natural. <laughs> I must say, I've never quite seen something so bulbous yeah, come at like, me like this before. Unethical. I will scream now. I will scream. Now. I think I'm gonna <laughs> shit myself and uh, scream. No, oh my gosh, she's she's starting to lift herself. Juliana up took all my milk. <laughs> I stole it. Yeah, uh, yeah. She's starting to lift herself now, so I'm like, oh god, she's gonna walk any day now. Huh? She just, she just got on crawling like, <laughs> like uh, two weeks ago. Well, what's going on? Yeah, no, uh. she's like, mm, yeah, she is. She and she pulls my shirt and then like lifts herself with it, and then she's like, huh? bong, and I'm like, oh, come here, you, hello, baby. <laughs> nope, throw it out. <laughs> I went to Houston. Elaborate. You saw a pelican go, oh, and then. Ah, oh, I need yeah, to put that sound over it. No, so I flew to Houston for the weekend to see Angie. Old friend from an app we don't name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the app that shall not be named. <laughs> I'm just going to cash out my $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> just got a fucking text from this. No, just men are exhausting. How do people talk to men genuinely? It is the most. Uh, it's so fucking boring. There's different genres of men. There's I, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm not prejudiced. Like I don't just hate people. I'm just like scared. <laughs> <laughs> I hate. Laughing. Kill all men. Kill all men. I'm not being prejudiced. I'm. Right I'm just right. saying. Like no, no, no. I just mean like I don't walk into a situation and be like I already hate you everyone walk here. Into the men's bathroom and you're like, oh, ew. <laughs> it smells like man piss in here. <laughs> <laughs> smells like mad dick in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I would like to Can be friends with everybody, but I, I don't want, I don't want to be friends with assholes and most of the assholes that you meet are men. Yeah. Surprising. Nick's like, I'm not Is that pointing to me? <laughs> pointing <laughs> but, to me. <laughs> oh. Nick is my only guy friend, I think. <laughs> <laughs> But like, 
But like they're meeting and anyway, this this fucking there's such dudes in this fucking chat. This one dude has said <laughs> four dude. times. This one dude has said four times now. He's like, here's my LinkedIn. You guys want to connect in LinkedIn? No! No one fucking cares about your fucking LinkedIn. Like 40 connections on LinkedIn. I'm like, does that really make you look any better? I don't no. know. No, it doesn't. No one fucking cares. Holy shit. And he texted it again to the, he was like, I noticed you guys read it, but you didn't actually uh, follow me on LinkedIn. <laughs> Everyone was putting in their names for their numbers, you know, like blah, 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 blah. And so he goes, here's my name. Here's also my LinkedIn. In case you didn't see it before. Here's my LinkedIn. I was like, oh, I'm about ready to text in. No, <laughs> I, I'm not going to follow your fucking LinkedIn. I happen to Google you guys' names and you all have LinkedIn's and you don't follow me. You haven't been active in a while, but see, you can still follow that's me. See, that's the thing that maybe bugs me the most. He wants to put in no effort in this. It's not like he searched us on LinkedIn and, like, connected, because then I would just accept the fucking connection. No, yeah. he wants all of us to manually search this bastard up and fucking friend him there. Oh so we can, what, see the fucking pipes he installed? I don't know. <laughs> Who fucking cares? It's so fucking dumb. He's a plumber? I don't know. I just made that up. I was. I can't oh. be anything exciting <laughs> if he's on his own doing this, advertising like, his fucking LinkedIn. Make good money. My gosh, I, w- I wish he was a plumber. Plumbers seem fun. <laughs> I don't know. No, so there was women in a group discussion will just women. chime in with like points. They'll just be like, "Oh, and this, is- then this is it for me." And then they'll be like, "Oh, that reminded me of this. Oh, that for this." It's nice, and everything flows, and everyone gets included. With the dudes, yeah. it's like they literally don't care what you're talking about. They will just use that as an intro to the thing they've wanted mm-hmm. to talk about for the last yeah. year. And they're going to talk about it no matter what. They're like, time to explain a concept we all understand. And it's going to be really evident that I didn't listen to a word you guys were saying because I was constructing my monologue this entire time. So I was invited to the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. You know that they actually play football in the Super Bowl? That's crazy. <laughs> People watch it for something other than the commercials. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know about this. <laughs> Speaking of which, the ads, I don't know. I didn't watch the game. I just watched the ad compilation. I feel like the ads sucked. Am I being harsh? You're being harsh. They're all right. I didn't I, I didn't know. really watch him. I only saw the Adam Driver one. Uh, yeah, well, that makes sense. Oh, he's in a dinosaur movie coming out. Did you see that? <laughs> this movie came out of nowhere. Dude, there's been oh, no well, advertising fi- for this he movie. Filmed it like, he filmed it like two years ago, so I have known about it. But it's, um, it's, it, 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 I, there's been no ads for it. It literally started advertising this weekend. I'm, it's coming I'm out in aware. less than two weeks. I'm very. I, I'm part of like a fan club, and they're like, "Why is nobody talking about? He's in an action literally. movie, and nobody's talking about it." And then what? had happened was they released like a teaser trailer on youtube and they they didn't really expect anything to come from it they thought it was going to be like the white noise movie that was on netflix or like whatever netflix didn't advertise this because it's coming out the same weekend as uh the glass onion uh knives out movie uh but 65 was originally scheduled to come out the same weekend as the second shazam so they're like all right that's going to be like the box office (laughs) draw for for the weekend and then (laughs) and then that at like that little teaser trailer got like millions of views within like a few hours so then the marketing team was like holy shit like people actually are interested in (laughs) this well it might do better than shazam now to be honest yeah exactly Exactly. they were like a dinosaur (laughs) movie that's not jurassic park and then and then zachary levi comes in and is like Fuck gay people! <laughs> Fuck it! He said what? No, he didn't. He didn't. No, he was like, he was like Pfizer, evil. Oh, I yeah. saw that. I was confused. One <laughs> tweeted it. Yeah. But I mean, don't yeah. like. Doesn't the internet not like big pharma anyway? Like what? Yeah, I yeah, know, right? Yeah, but he's like anti-vax, so they're yeah. Like, mm. he, he's he anti-vax. Just refu- he, he just well, he's well, talking he about refused, the vaccine. <laughs> yeah, he refused to elaborate on it because the. The like t- like uh, tweet he commented on had to do with like an anti-vax person, and they were like, "Can you please elaborate on what you said?" Because like he was like, "Can you believe how sus Pfizer is and like how much they're trying to control?" Blah 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 blah. And it's like, okay, like there there's truth to that, <laughs> but are you saying that in relation to like putting chips in us from like the 
like COVID vaccine? Or are you talking about how manipulative Big Pharma is in ripping people off? Because they, they are pretty fucked up and they do a lot of fucked up testing on stuff. So, but he just refused to comment. So yeah, He's got to do damage well, control now. <laughs> yeah. Comment on that. Uh-uh. Yeah, comment on it. Comment Genuinely, on it. How, then... how stupid are you to tweet that shit when your movie's coming out? I mean, literally, know, everyone was like, dude, he dumb. Yeah, no, it, it, it went viral so fast yep. when he tweeted the, that out. The DC PR team was like, fuck, 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 man, we can't have shit. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. No I'm kidding. She's like one Superman. of their only successful things. Yeah, I know. Yeah, They're no, like, we lost Superman. <laughs> all we have is Ezra Miller. Oh, my god. You fucking... know who the real victim is in all this? Rachel Zegler, and let me tell you why, because every movie she's been in now has had some fucking giant controversy right before it comes out. Because the last one was West Side Story, and I was like, oh, and oh, now this one. Of, I was thinking of What's Her Face, Catwoman. Everyone was all like, oh, we'll go oh, over um, her, and then it turns out like she's actually like a bad person. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, she's no like, kidding. Cre- she's like creepy. She's a... Uh... Yeah, she was really? talking about like, underage boys or something. I don't yeah. what happened. No, I just what? I didn't realize she and was so much. The internet did a complete one eighty. Yeah. <laughs> Zoe Kravitz. Yeah, yeah, Zoe Kravitz. Like That's I always thought I she liked was, her. I always thought she was like beautiful and like great and stuff. She was in. Well, and she's then still I realized, beautiful, but well, well, yeah, but not like, on the inside. <laughs> I mean. That was that was a bit of a turnoff, if I'm gonna be honest. A pedophile. Well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> well, I, I didn't Hot take. I, suddenly, Hot take. I, I didn't find her attractive I don't know about that anymore. Pedophilia stuff. Yeah. Suddenly, I was like. <laughs> yeah. No. The internet did a complete 180. I remember on Twitter, it was just like so many jokes and like. <laughs> Dude, yeah. It was bad. She looks like I, Lisa Bonet. Is she like? That's her related? mom. Ah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> she looks like a perfect combination of her parents. Yeah. Who is her dad? Think about their last name and think about like a Kravitz. singer who has that last name. Dude, I, you've lost Kravitz. me to singers. I don't know singer, singers' names. You don't dude. know Lenny? Lenny Kravitz? You've never. Oh, heard. okay, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know who he looks like. You, but I've heard the name. You've seen him. There's no he way was, I've seen him. He's in a Cologne yeah, commercial yeah, right now. If you. If you have seen Hunger Games and you've seen I am up to was, date on my He was Cinna in the no, Hunger Games. he was Games. in like a Super Bowl commercial. Was oh, he, oh, he was Cinna? Oh! Isn't he the makeup artist? He was in Hunger Games. Damn, okay. I'm being gaslit to the max right now. I didn't now. see him. <laughs> <Lord, I don't laughs> Lenny Kravitz is her dad? He looks so young. How old is Zoe Kravitz? Yeah, he looks, he looks great. He's he looks 60? What the yeah, fuck? He looks Lenny amazing, Kravitz right? Like 60, what vampire great. cult shit did yeah. he get into His to keep? His skin is Holy crazy. Damn. It yeah, it doesn't even look like that really, like, plasticky, like, stretched Botox face. It's, he just looks <laughs> like clean, clean baby skin. <laughs> oh, you mean like the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That? You know the ones. You know the ones. <laughs> <laughs> we're so far off the rails and then i was like i was like we've but not been John... talking about anything coherent for a half hour <laughs> that's how i am all the time though it's not funny either we're just talking about the news <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but but then you know celebrity gossip just like, yeah but uh, Kim that looks absolutely stunning with your new planet <laughs> 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 yeah no also, but also world war three might be happening right now yeah, I... <laughs> sorry that's the extent of celebrities i know what's that guy's name don lemons he basically was just like saying um women aren't in their prime he's like obviously women are in their prime in their 20s and then his two co-anchors co-hosts were women and they're like Elaborate on that. Elaborate on that real quick. What? What? Uh, what, what do you mean by that? The hardest by that? Eh ever. Yeah. <laughs> Who yeah, is this then, guy? Eh. Don Lemons. Yeah, and then like uh, a second later, he like backtracks. He's like, he's like, no, well, well, I mean, maybe like even into their. 40s. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's like Man, a news all anchor. these people be saying bullshit. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> Literally, everyone is just like. Put these idiots in front of a mic for more than five minutes. They're gonna be like, "Oh, you know, the Jews uh, could get rid of them." Like, wasn't th- wasn't there a news anchor that also like was caught cheating on his wife? Yeah, yeah. all of them. All of them are involved in some bullshit. Haven't each of them? What was Matt Lauer no. doing? He was in the Me Too. Well, Matt Lauer was doing like crazy, like the next stuff, guy. He was, like, was... He was putting his dog in like people's desks. And... Yeah, he was. <laughs> He was next level. Have you wasn't was he the one that, movie was that, Bombshell? Wasn't he the one that had buttons in his office, like shut doors and stuff? 
I think so. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't remember right. if it was Matt Lauer or Charlie Rose, but one of them would like wear robes and just like pull out just like a little peek just for <laughs> this thingy to just be. <laughs> Don't do that. Flashing. Ew. What the, the fuck flaccid. is that? Don't ever do that again. The flaccid. Ew. Check this out, I did Ow. not I need the visual aid. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, so the He's second, He's undergoing like, formal training. How much training? Um, He's an adult, dude. His brain's developed. Do you really think you're gonna train that out of him? It's because they're like, they're like, what the fuck's oh, the point? Gay, gay men can be really misogynistic towards women because they only pay attention to men, and that's all they understand. They don't understand women's issues or what, whatever. I don't, I don't understand the logic they're using. A lot of people like him as a reporter and a journalist. That's what I'm saying. What are reporters saying? You just have to watch the balls move around and say what the points are. What the fuck? <laughs> How hard is it to not say this stuff? What are you even talking oh, Don, about, watch dude? These balls. <laughs> Hold on, hey, watch Don, these balls. Don, Don, look at me. Look at me, Don. Hey, Don. Stop. Don't look at her. Look Check at me. Watch the fucking game and just talk about the fucking game. What are they doing? Who's passing to who? That's all you have to talk about. Women. Are they, no, shut, shut up. Shut the fuck up, Don. Shut you the fuck like up. You like men? Go watch the big sweaty athletes. Look at them. You don't have to say controversial shit about women. <laughs> You watch the ball drop every year. You you guys host that New Year's Eve shit, right? Houston was great. One thing one thing I thought was funny was that so on the way back from Houston, um, the dude in the TSA uh, recognized me from the Venom videos, oh. which was just fun. I can't remember if I said that or not, but it was just no. like an awkward thing to happen in line because he was like a younger dude. He was like, "Hey, are you from TikTok?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "That's." And I was like, "Yeah." And I was kind of waiting for him to say like. From yeah, you know, what from? You were that dude yelling slurs at the w- no, 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 that was not me. No, no, no. like you're like was no. it the arc? Was I'm it like the yeah, <laughs> that it was, was me. Like, <laughs> I said those things. I'll say them again. <laughs> but no, you're and he was like, like it was the arch, wasn't it? And then he was like, Eddie. and then you were like, <gasps> <gasps> that's what he said. So I we're knew standing it. there, in li- we're standing there in line, and I've already been like checked out by him. And I was like, yeah, and he and he was talking to the the other worker with him. She was like TikTok, and he was like, yeah, he's from TikTok. He's the one that does the Venom videos. And I was sitting there like, <laughs> like continue. And he was like, <laughs> and he and he does it in front of her. She was like, Venom, who's Venom? And we both went, <laughs> huh? <laughs> we were like, oh. you don't know Venom from Spider Man? And then he goes, <clears throat> you know, he does the voice in front of her. She's like, oh goodness. <laughs> Like, and then I did it, and then I got arrested by TSA. List. Yes. Yeah, one hundred percent. I grabbed her by her little TSA collar, pulled her up, <laughs> and set it straight into her eyes. And then, and then they tackled said, me. We are Venom, and then you're like, <laughs> and ate her. I consumed her entirely. Yeah. Let's read notes. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna kill myself. Well, our new patron, Toasted Sandwich. Uh, ah! Here's my note. Sorry if it's long. Oh, it's not patron. long. This is adorable. They think this is long. <laughs> Hello, Nick Lively and Daniels. This is my first Hello. note and episode as a Patreon. Yay. Welcome. So I'm very excited to be uh, finally more part of the community. Smiley face. But also in the last episode, you exposed me. I told you all that I was in prison and pride and you trashed me for it. So I will be suing you for defamation of character. But I'm glad you all enjoyed the keychain. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we talked about him scraping it on there with a yeah. sport in prison. <laughs> I like how the note started being like super cute and nice, and I was like, "Oh, this is usually different than the stuff Fuck we get." And then it immediately 180'd into the usual stuff. I was like, "Yeah, hey man, die." <laughs> <laughs> it was like, "Hey man, beans, peas, die, die, die." Like, ah, here we go. So I will be suing you for defamation of character, but I'm glad you all enjoyed the keychain. Also, I just wanted to flex and say I own a piece of plastic that's M and M's in a fire truck. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> also, just wanted to flex and say I own a piece of plastic that's M&M's in a fire truck. So you own it in a fire truck or you own a piece of plastic that was part of M&M's fire truck? Was M&M in a I think fire it's truck? I that one. M&M was in a fire truck? The no, rapper like M&M, the, the rapper. The rapper, sorry, the rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh! Did the rapper do anything with a fire truck? Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> I could not tell if it was the candy or not for the longest time. Sorry. Like, oh. Red Eminem was in an accident? <laughs> yeah. Are you talking Beat. about my brother? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to have to continue to make stuff for you all. Drawings, laser cuttings, and stuff, etc. Oh, that'd be nice. Don't put yourself out, though. I feel bad when people do anything nice for us. I uh, And I love y'all's... You can do nice stuff for me. Shut up. Me too. <laughs> Ignore Daniel. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I love y'all. It made me laugh when I'm sad, and it made me laugh the hardest I've laughed in a while. It almost killed me, too. I have asthma, so laughing too hard can cause me to have an asthma attack. Thanks for that. <laughs> also, what the fuck was that last episode? <laughs> <laughs> it was so chaotic. I still love the shit out of it, of course. And now here's another French game. Well, either the first or second, depending on the order. And an easier one, since I don't natively speak French. Translate, translate this. Je m'appelle Hayden. Comment allez-vous? Que va très bien? Essaye que vous pouvez chanter. Okay, well, so my name's Hayden. Comment your name? Hey. Uh, Daniel. Uh, va très bien. Something about three being good. Yeah, you three are good. Um, Essaye oh. que vous pouvez chanter. I don't know what, what that is. is. Um, can you all can you all banter? What's the banter, yeah? Okay, translation. Oh, there it is. Hey, my name is Hayden. Okay, how are you all doing? Okay, I didn't get that at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing very well. Can you all sing? Okay. Um, Lively can sing. Her stuff's really good. <laughs> Mr. Sunman. Hey. Bring me honey. <laughs> I, I like the TikTok that... Have you seen the TikTok that's like... um what Oh, fuck. I can uh, ruin that. Brought that to a screeching halt. Um, <laughs> what TikTok? Where, the one where it's like, hey, yo. Like, he's talking about shoes, I think, in the original sound. He's like, they got that. They got... They, they look like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my oh solitude. that goes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In my solitude. <laughs> A little crackle of the record in the background. Anyway, I gotta, Dude, I gotta keep moving. Video where, where he's like, he's like, man, look at this guy's shit. He got the Jordan Jizzle Jack. And like, his, <laughs> it's like the fakest Jordans you've ever seen in your life. It's the Jordan one with, like, like the running. <laughs> yeah. The uh, cocaine the bear starts in 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, come oh, on, come oh, on, come oh, on, pow! next. Pod note for the next cast. Oh, here we are. I have heard that all these are barely... I have heard that all of these comments are basically cries for help. And yeah, you're right. I can't afford therapy. So this is as good as it gets. Please get a sponsorship code for better help so I don't have to pay as much. Hope you guys all have a good night. Aw. Yeah, we won't be doing that. But, you know, anyway. Oh, never mind. Didn't better help have some kind of weird scandal? Anyway, I can't get into that. Yeah, they just hire whoever. Anyway, next. Yeah, okay. Anyway, next. Violet Verite. Ooh, we got one from her. So Violet, okay, the song is done. We just have to put lyrics to it. I've been That's so fucking done. busy and gotten zero sleep. So I need to, I'm, the song, the tune part is done. Nick worked very hard on it. Yeah. And tune, I feel bad because I was like, yeah, we'll get this out end of January. And then I've had no time in February. Uh, no, you fucked up. I've just been busy. Anyway. So, I've also been busy. So the Violet uh, b- bust, I'm having the library make a bigger one. Um, this time it's like eight, in, eight and a half inches fucking tall. <laughs> I thought it would be ready by today, but it's not. So I feel bad. I can't wait for the next one, though. It's going to be fucking huge. Are you going to put, like, the baby one, like, in the arms cradling? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm going to wear the other one as, like, a pendant, like garlic. <laughs> wear it for luck. Violet's like, I did not consent to that. Do not touch me. <laughs> um, hi, here's my note. Uh, should I read the French? Am I offending people? Bonsoir à tous. J'espère que vous allez bien. Jésus présente un congé, donc passe un cours pendant où se mettez entre. J'ai des gens qui ont activités. I know that word. Yeah, I was like, all right. Des prévus avec évident de quand tu sommes un rat trapper. Rat trapper. <laughs> rat trapper. <laughs> I like that. Rat tatoui. J'aimerais savoir que vous ferez si je vais avec un semaine entre sans avoir à travailler ni étudier sans. San, sans obligation. <laughs> Too important. <Yeah>. Que <laughs> que <laughs> vaisons. Bon soleil. I wish I could talk like that French dude in that Nancy Drew game. He was hot. Anyway, so the translation is, Good evening, everyone. I hope you are doing well. I am currently on leave, so no classes for a whole week. Hey, there we go. Take good, yeah. Need Vacation. that mental health week, dude. Amen. I always have some activities planned with obviously a lot of sleep to catch up on. Good. I would like to know what you all would do if you had an entire week without having to work or study or obligations, no matter what they are. Have a good evening. Imagine having a week without having any shit to do. That'd be... We had a pandemic and I wasted it. (laughs) Yeah, I know, right? I was like, I did not a thing. I I had to go into work every day during the pandemic and work 10 hours, so that was my pandemic. That's yucky. Um, I was dying. I had a week. Um, well, the the Colorado's coming up. I don't have to work, I don't have school, and I can literally do nothing but hike and just be in fucking nature and I cannot wait. 
Oh, dude, oh. it's such a good mental health breather just being out in fucking open air and not hearing shit. Anyway, uh, we're out of time for today, so have a good okay. <laughs> um, Really quick, you, what, so what would you do if you had a week? You, didn't, you could do anything you wanted to. You don't have to worry about cost. Uh, I would try to make videos and, like, upload them, edit them, YouTube. That's cute. I still have to edit our YouTube video from a month ago. My December? bad. December? <laughs> it was not December. It was not. There's no way. Was it December? There's no know. fucking way. That was January, dude. Dude, if it's December, I'm full on killing myself. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. I'm ending it all. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I think, unfortunately, that's all because Brian and Grunge Raccoon didn't get theirs in. I got nothing. I feel like shit. So, sorry. I've been, like, off most of this time. I don't... Dude, yeah. you're fine. You're literally fine. How would you kill someone? <laughs> Genuine um, Well, first I would, and then it just cuts off. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me, uh... I I know my strategy. Uh, hold on, so hold on, hold on. Hold I'll... on. Yeah, okay, there we go. No, record it.